Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kbadger.com, here today to introduce to you my new targets, which are the KBAT Ambush Targets 2.0. Taking a step back, let's look at the why. I originally made these guys KBATs, Kit Badger Anatomy Targets, to address what I felt was a need for anatomically correct two scale targets that ultimately can print out on two 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper. Because while I've spent years training and vetting on targets like this, and admittedly, they work great for a standardized target for, say, a game. They're a gross misrepresentation of human anatomy, as opposed to something like this. And where that really comes into play is when you're trying to figure out your holdovers, especially like running a rifle up close, and the distance you need to hold to get your rounds to be scored in a little box right here versus where they need to be on human anatomy, two vastly different things. So I ended up coming up with these guys, which in fairness, were absolutely inspired by the printable targets, the vital anatomy targets from Sage Dynamics. One of the things I didn't really care for on that is as you move back, what you were actually presented with was like a circle in a box. Whereas these, as soon as you move back, everything disappears and you're presented with the target indicator of a silhouette. Fast forward to these guys, which are my version two of the ambush targets, basically taking all those same principles of the KBATs, Kit Badger Anatomy targets, turning it 90 degrees. So what I've done here is I've created a true to life. I have this as well as the thoracic cavity, giving you all of your vital anatomy on two eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. With that, as soon as you move back, all these structures in here immediately disappear and all you're left with is a silhouette which is a target indicator to include the ear, also a target indicator. And with it, essentially allowing you to print these out, have paper, which tells no lies, and you can actually see where all those impacts are because, well, your anatomy changes when you turn and you get onto a different plane. These targets are made in such a way that once you get your either top or bottom up, you then come in here and line respectively the other one up, at which point we now have all of our anatomy portrayed correct anatomically and importantly to scale. Up close, we can actually make out all this bone structure to include vital anatomy right here. Same with our heart our lungs represented, and our entire spinal column. One of the things people don't take into account oftentimes is when things are, or when things, when people are turned or bladed, you'll have an arm coming down here, which can oftentimes obstruct this, but this gives us all of our vital anatomy on two sheets of paper. Right here, about seven yards away from the target, and as you can see, as soon as we start moving back, all of the anatomy inside of our target basically starts to disappear. And all we're presented with is basically that silhouette, i.e. target indicator. For me personally, one of the real big benefits of running something like this is the ability to have something that's actually giving you proper feedback with respect to height over bore on like carbines. And these are my ambush version two targets. As I mentioned, as soon as you move back, all of the bone structure, everything inside, all your anatomy pretty much disappears. These will treat you well all the way back, especially 25 yards. Once you get to 50, you kind of start to lose a little bit of it as far as just being able to see that far, especially without magnified optics. Past 50, not really that handy. But for anything up close, especially 25 and in, I find these guys do a really good job. Where can you get your ambush targets? Go over to kitbadger.com, go to this post, scroll to the bottom, 
put in your name and email. They will get emailed directly to your inbox. They're gonna be PDFs. There's gonna be a black and white version as well as a color version. Color version using mainly kind of that blue and red because people usually burn through all the black ink, but they usually have blue and red. So it's using kind of non-standard used colors or print it out black and white if you want. The other great thing is eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. So you can put them in something like this. It doesn't turn into a yard sale in your range bag. You don't have to deal with like poster sized targets, big, huge sheets of cardboard, all your vital anatomy on two sheets of paper that can be easily stored, carried to the range, put up, no issues whatsoever. But if you get a chance to use them, let me know how they do for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.